Hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? This is Kiko. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at more Pokemon artwork by Joshua Dunlop. And there's a lot of artwork to look through, so I'm not going to take too long on each picture. But yeah, let's get started. So the first picture we're going to be looking at is at one of the most popular Pokemon characters in the series, and that's Charizard. So as you can see in this picture of Charizard, he looks like a badass. You know, he has like that flame coming out of his mouth. And it's a really good follow-up picture to his previous artwork of Charmander and Charmeleon. And some people were complaining that this picture didn't really resemble Charizard that good like it was a good picture but it was a little bit off so Joshua Dunlop decided to redo it a little bit and this was his new picture of him and the newer picture I wasn't really feeling it because it doesn't look like as badass as the previous one but I guess some people said like the newer picture resembles Charizard closely but I don't know I mean what do you guys think which one do you prefer all right now following Charizard of course we got to look at boom Blastoise now Blastoise here looks like a beast man like I like everything about this picture he looks like a legit turtle in like a kind of animal you don't want to approach because it looks dangerous this is also a good follow-up to the previous pictures of squirtle and word turtle the only small complaint i have about it is the barrels on its back could have been a little bit bigger because in the cartoon version of blastoise his barrels are really big so right here they're kind of small but other than that awesome pick now since we looked at blastoise and charizard you know we can't forget the third member venusaur so venusaur like the previous two is also a good follow-up to the previous pics of bulbasaur and ivy now a lot of people were complaining about this picture because they said that Venusaur looked way too small in the picture but Joshua Dunlop later released like some images to kind of compare like the sizes and I think it's like the leaves that make it look small but in reality this Venusaur is actually supposed to be massive but yeah let me know what you guys think like how do you feel about this picture do you think it looks too small or does it look like pretty legit all right so now we looked at the three final evolution stars now we're going to look at some other not so popular Pokemon first one is going to be Metapod now Metapod compared to his cartoon version doesn't look that much different you know you just got like a cocoon pretty much I mean there isn't really much you can do with a cocoon to make it look more realistic he looks like a sticky cocoon like something you kind of don't want to touch either you know it's kind of you know you just want to leave it alone so I mean that one looks pretty cool I definitely give it the seal of approval and now we're gonna move on to the next cocoon and that's Kakuna so Kakuna I really like what he did with this picture because Kakuna's evolution line Rito, Kakuna and Bijo are all poison like evil kind of Pokemon and then you look at Kakuna over here you know it looks evil sticky like a cocoon as well and yeah this picture I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 no complaints here all right so next up we're gonna look at something I didn't really expect but here we go Poliwhirl so Poliwhirl is based off a of frog slash tadpole so it would make sense for him to look kind of like slimy and you know pretty much like a frog so this picture is a good follow-up to the previous picture of Poliwag now the only thing is it looks a little too gooey kind of like a ditto uh, maybe like make the arm a little bit more formed like a shape you know because party world actually has like a shape i mean but other than that i really have no complaints man this is definitely a good picture but i'm gonna have to rate it a 9 out of 10 just because of the shape and it looks a little bit too gooey that's about it all right so now out of all the artwork we saw today we're gonna look at one of my most favorite ones and that is of onyx now if you're like walking in the desert or something or like out in the countryside and you see like this rock formation you're gonna be like oh that's a pretty cool rock like it looks pretty neat right and then it starts moving you're gonna be like whoa what the heck why is it moving that's because it's an onyx so when I'm looking at this picture it looks like a rock something you can climb a really nice formation but it's actually a Pokemon so this is one of my favorite pictures because it looks like spot on and even in the Pokemon series sometimes like the characters mistaken onyx for an actual rock so this one Joshua Dunlop I applaud you for it actually I applaud you for all of those pictures man you do you're doing a really good job you know and you know just keep doing what you're doing you know keep bringing them out because you have a lot of fans that like to see them you know I enjoy seeing them and making videos about them so if you guys want to follow Joshua Dunlop on Instagram or check out his Patreon, you know, I'm going to leave a link in the description for all of that. He's a really talented artist. So yeah, keep up the good work. But anyway, those are all the pictures I have for you guys today. And you know, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, drop a comment, leave a like, whatever. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.